deep connection lights a spark it's like you know me in the depths of my heart we're dreamers Welcome back to my channel. How are we doing? Not much going off at the moment this week. So what I thought I'd do is take you along for my weekend because I say not a lot going off. I've actually got um, out of venting tomorrow as a groom. So I thought that'd be really exciting to see another bit of horsey life and how I cope with that with having these horses as well to deal with. Um, I should have started this vlog early this morning, but I weren't feeling it. I had a lay in this morning at 7am, but the, in the mornings, on a Saturday morning, I do tend to not get here as early as in the week. I don't need to because I'm not working. Winner. Uh, and they're out in the field at the moment. If you're in the UK, it has been wet. Like the rain has never ceased for what feels like 25 billion years. So the field situation for me has been hit and miss. I've had to move fields. They've been knee deep in mud. Thankfully now, the weather has turned a little bit. It's nice and windy, as you might be able to hear. The sun is, well, it's 18 degrees today, but it doesn't look like it. It's drying up the fields, lovely. So the girls are actually out at the moment. So this morning I just got up, turned them out, and mucked out. So Molly is done. Cherry is done, they're all fine. However, uh, I share my yard with my bestie, Tan, and she's not here this weekend, so I'm in charge of her too, which means I have two extra stables to muck out before we do anything exciting. I've also got a haylage delivery coming today. I'm hoping to get Molly um, just long lined over some poles. And we'll give you a bit of an update on what's happening with moles. I've got so much booked in over the next couple of weeks. I'll update you on that. And I'll take you to Norton tomorrow. So does that sound like a plan? You know, it's not always going out and competing, is it? Definitely not in my world. I wish it was. Right. Chores first. Chores done. It's time to do feeds. Let's address the elephant in the room. The outfit. It's practical functional again mum's knitted hat if you on instagram this is the usual look it's the jumper i got i don't know snowboarding oh yeah there you go four of it uh my gloves because i get to a certain age and i just like these fingerless gloves keep me warm but dexterous uh and shorts on and jolly boots because some yorkshire sun's out legs out i don't care whether it's like if you live in yorkshire the postman always wears shorts in blizzards. So just saying that. Anyway, feed time. So I'm gonna do feeds for Cherry, my old old duffer, turns 37. Uh, and Molly. And it's been a labour of love with feed in getting it right. I'm stuck at the minute on simple systems. I'll tag it in my description, which is more suited to kind of a fiber based diet less starch less sugar which for any x-racer or thoroughbred um it's really good for like prevention against ulcers molly has been scoped but we still have to ensure that we're doing the best for her in regards to maintenance so she doesn't get any more so she has ad lib hair grazing like she never runs out of forage but because she's doing she's doing some more work now we need to try to up the feed so she's on simple systems and she has the um chaff so i think it's called i don't know build and shine which is like alfalfa uh, and linseed chaff she then has a pelleted forage so i don't even know how to pronounce this i'll put it here sun sunofin I don't know, somebody will tell me. Pellets uh, for horses needing to gain condition and in medium work. Yeah, just that. Then she has, oh, she was on Cool Sands Copra, but I honestly, hands down, don't think it's made a difference. So I'm going to exchange that and put her on some linseed 
because linseed has worked wondered wonders for mine in the past. So, and carotis. So that is what I'm gonna make up right now. I talked about she's on a balancer as well. This is from Simple Systems. I think it's the Calm Plus Balancer. It's just for vitamins and minerals, really. I'm not always convinced on balancers, but I'm trying it to see if it makes a difference. Uh, Chezzy just has some uh, barley rings and uh, she's, she's still on the Cool Sense Copra and some carotis. <laughs> not to mention again, it's gonna be soaked. So that is what I've done with the water. I have soaked it and I'm doing two lots because I'm doing the morning's feed as well as tonight's feed. So I'm prepped for the morning because I've got a busy day tomorrow. We'll go through it later, but I got a busy day. I just realized I gotta make Blaze and the Follies. Never call a flicker, that's her name. We just call a Foley. I gotta make their dinners too. Simple systems, exactly the same. I think they're on different pellets. I think Tan has them on. Um I want to say loosen pellets. I think because they don't need as much weight gain as Molly does. I think so. Anyway, with Simple Systems, I got this from the lovely Hannah, who is Wizzy Welsh eventing, so I do get influenced by the right people. And you speak to them and they send you, you basically tell them all about your horse, what they're doing, and they'll send you a free diet plan. And I would say from a finance perspective, it's not that bad in price. It's about, if not a little bit cheaper than some of the mixers that you can get. And I really like it. We'll have a look at Molly's condition when she comes in and I'll do a, when I, when I started, I've got a picture of when I started to how she is now and see what you think. Like, I like it. I think it's great for a, it doesn't add any extra heat or any extra fizz. I like it. And the poop is wonderful and we all like good poops. And Tan also has an array of supplements. Um, I don't know, I think for joints and stuff. You know me on supplements. At the moment, supplement wise, uh, she's only on two. And these are only because <laughs> there is science behind these. So, um, you know. She's on the Superflex by NAF, and they're also not ridiculously priced. So, she's on the Superflex by NAF. And then, because it's that time of the year, kids and I am new to this, apart from Chesa, but Chesa I've never really ridden, so I would say this is my first kind of look into true male life. This, a wee stress. And I actually think it's probably all placebo in my head, but do you know what, for 27 quid, I'm down. I actually think that makes a little bit of a difference. No karmas, people, because karmas don't work. Hashtag controversial. Uh, right, what am I doing now? I'm waiting for the hay and then I'm going to set some poles up for moles in the school. Also, while I'm waiting for the uh, haylage man, there is a lot of chores, isn't there, when you've got horses and sitting around. Uh, Molly also had a saddle fit come out. So I have struggled to get a decent saddle fitter in this area. However, I've waited a little bit for this lady that came out. She came with great recommendations and she was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, the saddle we had for Molly did not fit. So the previous one <laughs> fitted it incorrectly. Hey ho, you live and learn. What I've learned is there's a lot of saddle sellers. There is very few good saddle fitters. Kids, get into saddle fitting. Um, so it didn't fit at all. So Molly has a brand new saddle now, which fits beautifully and she works so nicely in it as well. It is a synthetic changeable mono, which I can show you at some other point. Yeah, it's really nice. So I just thought I'd add that onto there because this horse has literally had every check under the sun. The physio has also um, been watching the videos, etc. And Molly is good to go with more schoolwork now and the odd little jump. So that's exciting. 
to she'll still continue to have physio just not as intensely as she has been doing but we're probably going to like a three month schedule now but she was really pleased with her again when i fetch molly in she's in the field munching away uh we can go through it but yeah just thought i'd point it's so important isn't it to i think sometimes in the horse world we can get swayed into buying like really good numbers and nice matchy matchy sets when actually the most important bits I feel like I'm in Oz at the minute or I'm gonna be the most important bits are like farrier veterinary care physio good forage like all the basics and then if you can afford a matchy matchy set winner um yeah, this, this mare is very worth it and she's coming along. I'm so excited for her. I'm actually now excited for the future with her because she's just fabulous. And it's been a long time coming because, you know, it's been a tough old, a tough old 13, 14 months. But, blooming excited now. I absolutely think we'll be out of venting next year. 100%, 100%. <laughs> hey all delivered i'm actually gonna rethink my plan for today i'm not gonna do any polls with molly she's actually looking at the board she's had some decent work this week one two three four she's had five days in work so far so a day off won't hurt her it is just blowing a hula and I just think it's it's not conducive to good work so let's go and fetch them in instead and we'll give a bit of a judge a bit of a groom and we'll have a look at moles see how she's doing also important people to remember and I have to remember this plans can change and it's absolutely fine why is my pony the one that's right down at the bottom oh my goodness this field is drying up though, which is really, really nice. That was like a comedy sketch. Fetching my two in. Cherry, oh, my love. Cherry's not a fan of Molly. Molly's not a fan of Cherry. So I really shouldn't bring them in together. However, when I came to the gate, Molly, who was down the bottom of the field, ran up to the top and I was like, bonus, two at the top. Let's take you. But then Molly, tries to chomp on chairs all the time so anyway, which means chairs doesn't want to walk at the side of molly anyway they're in <laughs> and it's so windy molly also found one moment that incredibly terrifying never thought about that oh right let's have a look at her hello darling you had a good day and give her a little bit of a shush here we have the molly mud monster at the minute you had a good day she says yes people i have had a great day let's have a look at you then close up are you ready for my close up it's all about me you're not too bad Never leave your phone unattended. Molly has single-handedly broke my selfie stick. Hey ho, anyway, this is the time of the day where I just transfer all the mud from Molly onto me. I uh, give her a bit of a groove, and I know it's a thankless task, peeps, I absolutely know. But I do it just to check for lumps, bumps, make sure she's got four shoes on, no grazers, no cuts. Uh, just make sure she's all right really she's a bit dirty but this is what she's looking like now so i think she's got some top line coming on she's got some nice uh muscles on her hind and she's got some nice coverage on her she's like coverage on her sides so moles oh they're coming to empty the poop bins I've checked the weather forecast, it's going to be quite warm tonight, so I am going to leave her for the first time without a stable rug on. I think she'll be absolutely fine. If this wind dies down, it'll be alright. She's 
quite warm in there anyway. So I'm going to leave her having her dinner now and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. I'm going to go and ruin my washing machine by putting some turnout boots in it. And that's my Saturday. I'm very boring, but needed. Like I needed to do the haylage. I needed to do my nets. <laughs> I needed to see your cute face. I am still at heart that big kid that just loves spending time with horses. I don't have to be competing or doing anything else. Just being around them brings me joy. So anyway, I hope it does you too. Right, I'll catch you in the morn. Welcome to Sunday. It's eventing day. It's not been abandoned yet. So if you've been following British eventing this year, I think out of the 19 events that's been listed, maybe eight or nine have been abandoned because the weather has just been so bad. However, Norton is still running. So today I'm off to Norton Disney with Jess, Hubie Jeebies Eventing, who, as you know, met on Instagram, now one of my besties. Uh, but I've got to sort these guys out first. By the way, Cherry always weaves. She's done it for years. Um, hi, Sausage. Hello. I'm going to keep them in today because we have Storm Catherine on its way. That should make it fun for eventing. Um, but I'm going to hopefully, after we've been eventing, still have some energy left to ride later. So first off, before I ever get to Norton Disney, I've got to sort these kids out. Oh, I did my nails in Jess's cross country colours as well, because I'm that sad. <laughs> right, get my chores done. Chores have been done in record time. When I've got to go somewhere, I cab on it. Usually on a Sunday, I'm a lazy bean. Little lady, just giving her a little bit of a look over. It's a thoroughbred thing. I think once you've owned thoroughbreds, you like check them constantly. Like, did you survive the night? Did you have any injuries in the night? Uh, and she looks good. This is where, so she's had a lot of bites in the field and I think she's just pushing her dominance a bit at the minute. Which is why I put her on that wee, a wee stress. Uh, and Blaze is just putting her back in a place because Blaze is the dominant mare. So we'll see. Right, I'm going to head to Norton Disney where we're going to have a look at a, a, a venting course first time this year. Hopefully you'll be there one day. Also, Frickley has done a three day event, long format. 1900 and I'm so excited for it. I think it's definitely something For the future not this year dudes. She's literally been over a cross pole uh, It's definitely something in the future to keep our eye on on the way to novice Because peeps don't forget the dream is always to get to novice uh, Chatsworth and I'll retire What a cool way would it be to get you there. Like she has the name go beyond um she has the sass. We just need to build you up. And you're still a baby. Right, got to get to Norton, kids. I'm going to feed these and then get on my way. And I'm going to be on time. So my job today with Jess is to look after the horse, make sure Franco is in top, top shape, make sure she's got everything that she needs. We know where the dressage arenas are. So she just has to concentrate on her riding. That is the goal. Right, I love you. Should we have a little pop later? Hopefully later. If I've got time when I get back and I'm not too tired, I'm gonna pop her over her first few fences because she's had the go ahead. She can have a little a little pop and a little bit more schooling now to build up their muscles. So stick around. All right, let's get to Norton. Arrived at Norton Disney. The wind is still blowing, but the sun is out. Um, the worst place to find. Jeez, I took a, my sat nav actually took me, I mean, great sat nav, but it actually took me onto the cross country course, which I, were, I wasn't supposed to be. That's not where you park. Literally like on the track. So um, I found my entrance now. I'm waiting for Jess. It looks all right. I've never been to Norton. This was a venue that I'd booked to take Reg to his first 90 back in 2022. No. When did he die? 23. And unfortunately, I lost him four weeks before. So this is the event we should have been at. So let's, it's all on grass. So we'll go find Jess. I'm a little bit early, but we'll go find Jess. Uh, I've got my lucky top on and we'll get ready for a day's eventing. To note, Jess is competing in the B100. She has to compete in the open because she's got pesky points with uh, Franco, which means she's usually competing with the professional riders. 
So there might be some famous faces, apart from us, obviously. I have look at yes, this is Franco. We've just done studs to make sure that he is foot perfect for his dressage test. It's hella windy today, but to, now we're gonna get you all smart, mate, aren't we? And put your tack on. He's such a good boy. Stage dressage warm up. So my task here is to register Jess in, get a number, understand how long she's got before she goes in, and then just keep her updated with progress so that she can work her warming up in so she's ready to roll uh exceedingly windy very busy warm-up but franco was showing some really lovely and relaxing moves i really enjoy seeing his progress over the last couple of years he is one smart pony for the full test and everything check out jess's vlog but now we're going to take you on a course walk sheep feeder Keep him in the tube. people ride over it yet. This is what the ground's like on Landings. They have put a lot of gravel and shizzle out, haven't they? And this is the water. So we've gone all the way around, looped back. I've never done the course like this before actually, so it's nice to do it a bit different. So 
Are we on the lake for home now? Yes, now we're going this way. Oh look, so this is when we're talking about the course. done and on our way back to the horse box we just stopped off at the show jumping area just to see how it was running and see what the ground was like are going to see how he runs she's just waiting to go xc now but the ground in places is deep so it goes nice then deep so it's going to be really energy sapping so um i've kind of we've kind of decided that if it's not great then to withdraw and he's he, he's done amazing today like you can't imagine for it this weather is testing Just giving him a little hand graze now, little snacks before we go get dressage sheets, etc. He's got his ice boots on. The day grooming has been so good. I just love it. I love coming out and supporting like this. I'm thankful it just slept me. Thanks, Jess. The wind swept hair. It's been a good day. Wind flushed on my face as well. I had all good intentions of coming back, riding Molly, and I am in enough time, but the weather's vile, it's absolutely chucking it down, and it's windy, so she can have another day off. Uh, and I'm going to crack on with her schedule next week, and we have a lesson next week, I'll show you in a second when I'm closing out. So here she is, ready for bed, eating a dinner. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming along for us this weekend. I'm so blooming proud of Jess. Like she trained so hard and she just deserves all the success and it's it's coming together. Just get the feeling that this season is just gonna be amazing. So look at all this that we've got, oops, which way? That we've got coming up. So I have a lesson on April the 13th. I've then got our group lesson on the 19th. I'm hacking off site on the 25th of April and then, I may have got my first hunter trial booked in. It's a baby hunter trial, people. Slow beans. We're not talking 80 centimetres. We're not talking 70 centimetres. We're talking 40. We're talking a hack with a few logs. So I'm super excited to get her out. And I'm just enjoying the training with Molly. So come along. The next vlog will probably be my lesson vlog, which we're having like the starting of coming back jumping again. So that should be super interesting with Victoria again that I had last time. So please, if you like our little journey and our little story of the everyday person who's working full time that's just trying to get that dream of eventing, then please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week, Wednesdays at six. All right, people, I love you all. Well done, Jess. You're my inspo, always. And I'll see you next week. Bye, peeps. Sweet dreamers. Don't care